Hey guys, it's Josh here. I'm here with Coach James and we're going to be going over this week's Simple and Sinister workout. We've got 25 seconds on the clock, 15 seconds to rotate. We're going to have six stations. You're going to go around the room five times. You'll have a break between rounds as well. So, you ready Coach James? I am. Let's do it. Over here on the rows, we're going to be doing double rope slam. So, you're going to get a wind up slam and then a big slam. Wind up slam and then a big slam. Nice and controlled here, one at a time. Get that wind up and then slam that rope down as hard as you can on each of those slams. From there, we're coming over to the suspension trainer and we're going to be doing two-way rows. So you're going to get back, lean back into that plank position here and palms down, pulling those hands towards your chest, palms up, pulling those hands towards your ribs. You're going to rotate each time. Palms down, row. Palms up, row. Back and forth on those two. Now, if either of these cause you any sort of discomfort through your elbows or shoulders, just go to that neutral grip row for that 25 seconds. From there, we're coming over to the blue floor, and we're going to be doing long jumps. So you're going to be going end to end here. We're focusing on loading and exploding here. So James is going to swing those arms back quickly and then jump. Nice solid landing here. Nice and quiet. Remember, it's not about how far you jump. It's about how far you can jump while still landing well. So we want to look for good form, nice solid landings. We like to think like a ninja. I want to not even hear anybody landing on the floor because you're getting so quiet on that landing. And then from there, we're coming over to the edge of the blue floor here if you will. You can come out to the blue floor if you need to. There should be some room here. And we're going to do what we call dead stop push-ups. So you're going to go all the way down to the floor with your chest, lift those hands up, and then press back up. Back down, nice controlled. Lift those hands, push that air out as you press on up here. Now, if you need to, if that's a little difficult because these are pretty tough, you can do these from your knees as well. Down, lift those hands, press back up, or you can just work on the traditional pull-up or push-up, going down as low as you feel comfortable, and then pressing back up. You can also go down from the toes, up from the knees, or just work from the knees. So there's a, a lot going on in this station today, everybody. And yet, it's still just the same exercise. Okay, from there, we're coming over to the skier. We're gonna get on that skier. Now remember, when we're working on the skier, we're focusing on powerful pulls, not fast strokes. Fast strokes don't get us anything. We want to think about how much power we can produce each time we pull on those handles, coming up to those toes, reaching up nice and high, and then swinging those arms back as fast and as hard as you can. And then the last station here, we're coming over to the dumbbell station, and we're going to do our dumbbell plank transfer. So you're going to reach across your body, pull that dumbbell over, so similar to that plank with the bag pull through, we're just gonna use that dumbbell. So now James is dragging, what I want James to do is pick that dumbbell up, so let's turn it sideways, pick it up, place it over there, there we go, and then grab with the other hand and put it back down. Nice, remember we're focusing on that plank here. The dumbbell doesn't have to be real heavy. Going with the heavier dumbbell here is not gonna get you any stronger guys and gals, so focus on that plank. If you need to, you can do these from your knees as well, or you can just hold that plank for that 25 seconds. Okay, so that is our Simple and Sinister workout for the week. Great job, James. <laughs>